you are a penetration tester, you have to ask two questions right now. The first question is, did I notice already the revolution that happened in penetration tests? Am I going to regret if I'm not going to blow that revolution? So basically, what I mean by the revolution itself, it's integrating some AI capabilities in some pen testing and offensive security tools. I've been doing some researches about that topic, and I'm not going to talk specifically about AI taking some penetration tester job. Even I want to just make a video about that. But I'm talking about it here is changing your methodology in penetration tests. And I've been doing a lot of researches about that, even about some tools. Then I discovered that one of those tools is Neurosport version 2. One of the tools that really caught my interest, and I wanted just to share it with you because it's integrated a lot of capabilities. Even if you are talking about uh, the implementation of our machine, it's not really that hard. The good start point, if you are a penetration test and you want to go with uh, some tools that integrate AI capabilities. This video, we're going to go you know, through its deployment, how we can install it on our machine to the reports that we're going to get from this tool. Don't forget to follow me and let's go. Starting from the article that I got the tool from, um, so I will recommend to read that article since it's provided a lot of information about the tool itself. So um, if you go here to the cybersecurity news, um, they say in the title like Neurosploit version 2, it's the AI powered pen testing tool to the cloud GPT Gemini models to the dig vulnerabilities. So from the first look here, you know that it's integrated with a lot of models and the various models. Here, absolutely going to give you some information about Neurosploit is an AI powered penetration testing framework that automates critical aspects of offensive security operation through advanced language models. So this is really kind of interesting. It's come about the features. Here it's a super interesting one. Here it's just going to enumerate the features for you. So it talk about the multi LLM support. It means that it's already support a lot of models uh, like GPT, like Gemini. Uh, it's a flex flexible provider selection depend on your use. It says like it's a pre-configured personas. So what about reports? Here it says it's a structured reporting. It means like it's a JSON campaign results and HTML reports um, that wear agents instructions. So I'm really super excited to go through the installation. So for the installation, absolutely, I'm going to leave you the link in the descriptions just to try out this tool. So here, basically, it just tell you that uh, Neurosploit is a powered penetration testing framework, give you some descriptions, even to read the video, you can just follow it. Uh, here, uh, it's just going to remind you with the features, uh, modular agent roles, flexible LLM integration, whatever. And let's go for the installation. So all that you need here is that you need a Linux machine. I'm going to work here on a Ubuntu. So I don't know. It depends on you. You can implement it even on a Ubuntu server or any Linux disk where you feel comfortable about. So here about the installation, we're going to go with cloning the repo. So step by step, as usual. Even I want to make this video really so uh, comfortable for the beginners. So yeah. So we're going to go through step by step. We're going to clone the repo. Okay. My bad about that. I don't have a get. Let's go step by step. It's telling a get. So first thing first here, we're going to go and clone the repo. All right. It's a cloning. So after cloning the repo, we're going to check. All right. So we have here already the tool. All right. So as you can see here, uh, we have a lot of directories here. Uh, here they talk about the agents. We have the config directory here that contain the configuration. And by the way, this directory later, we're going to use it to integrate the model that you, we want to work with. So whatever you want to choose to work with a Gemini, ChatGPT, or Llama, it depends on you. So the configuration is going to happen in one of the files of a JSON in that directory. So we're going to go here just to match the requirement of the things. So here, first of all, they say uh, it's a recommended to create a virtual environment. So it's kind of recommended. So we're going to go through that. So first thing first, we're going to create the virtual environment. All right. So here it says, okay, uh, you need to install the Python app. 
my bad. I um, don't have this kind of packages. So I'm going to install them right now. Right. And then I'm going to go to create the virtual environment. All right. So clear here that we created the virtual environment to the next step. So the next step is uh, we're going to activate that. Not really that complicated. Sure. Awesome. So right now we create the virtual environment and we are just going from there. So what we're going to do next is so the requirements that exist in the tool in order that works perfectly for us without any issues. So let's come back here. I'm going to back to the main directory or already we are there, I think. Okay, great. And absolutely, I'm going to install all the requirements using a tab. All right. So I think, you know, things is going well for us. Uh, just I want to note that I'm going to use a Gemini model. Even I'm going to use the free one. I'm going to use the free flash uh, 2.5, which is the free version of uh, Gemini. And maybe people, they don't know about that, that you can take API keys from AI uh, Google Studio and integrate it in this tool. And then you can launch your scans. So this is what I've been doing. But in your case, if you want to go with the Gemini Pro or if you want to go with the Llama or any other models, um, basically, you know, the process is going to be kind of the same. So that's why here in the configuration, we can find that um, in the section of config, in this file, which is the config JSON, so this is the provider, which is Gemini, and here the model, even I'm going to use the free one, I'm going to use the free flash uh, 2.5, which is the free version of uh, Gemini. This is your case, and you want to create your API key, and you go through the process like that. So this is the method. First of all, you're going to go to Gemini IPA simple integration. And then, you're going to go to get started. Here, you go to get API key. And absolutely, you're going to go and create your key. This is super simple. I created already one for new exploit. So I'm going to use it. And here, what you're going to do after the requirement is satisfied and already you copied your IP key, you're going to go to the config file. So here it's config. And then you're going to basically just try to fill your information and your preference about the, the models that you're going to use. All right. So as you can see, I'm not going to go for Llama here. I'm going to go for Gemini. So here it says like the provider is Gemini. All what you have to do right now, it depends if you are have a subscriptions or not, but you have to put the right name of the model. Okay. So I'm going to go with taking the model name. And I'm going to paste it here. And absolutely, you have to put your IP key. But I really recommend always it just to make a backup file of that file itself, the config file itself. So if you missed with the something there, you can just go to the backup file and make it functional again. So what I'm going to do right now, uh, we're going to try things. And we're going to try to know how the things works right now. So first thing first, we're going to go and back to the main directory. And let's try things. So here it tells, absolutely, we have here the Python Neurosploit file. So we're going to go with that. All right. And let's see here. Okay, so it says like there is a model, which is a method. Um, and absolutely, it's not really installed through the requirements. So we're going to install it manually. So I'm going to go with a pip install. Mistune. I think, you know, this model is missing and successfully uh, installed it. So we're going to come back and we're going to go through 
uh, the tool itself. So what it says here, it says zero spot derivative to AI powered penetration testing framework. Um, okay, you can go for help to show this message. Um, and it seems here like it has an interactive mode. Um, and absolutely here you have the verbos, um, whatever. So here we're going to go to the interactive mode to discover more how we can interact with that tool. So I'm going to go here and add it to the interactive mode. Seems perfect. Okay, so kind of here we are the interactive one. So I think what if we just type help here to see how it works. So how this is work seems so simple. So right now, all what I have just to do is to run the agents and you have to specify the role. And then you put the input that you want to just the agent do it for you. So I think like it's not really that complicated. Let's try it out. So let's say that with an agent name it Big Bounty Hunters, I'm going to go and just scan some vulnerabilities on one of the websites. I remind you that if you want to scan, try to scan one of the websites that you have or you're authorized to do that action. So let's go step by step. Um, so I'm going to follow the commands. That's it, you know, right? So here I'm going to run the agent. Run agent. Back bounty hunter. And I'm going to put my input here. So I'm going to be like a scan. And I'm going to give it the website that we all grew up with. Open juice shop. All right. So in Valley's comments, since there is a mistake here. Oh, my bad. All right. Let's see what it's going to give us. I'm going to go with a simple command. So here, you know, it tells you that if you want to list the profiles or list roles, I'm going to go with the list roles. So be sure that you can customize some rules. It depends on the needs or it depends on the prompt that you want to give. Uh, here we have a pen test generalist. Uh, it's performed comprehensive penetration tastes across various domains. I don't want to really do that uh, because it's going to take some time. I'm going to go with the back bounty hunter. So it's kind of like focus on web application vulnerabilities. So I want to just this agent break me some vulnerabilities uh, of one of the apps. So to run this, all what I have to do is just to run agent. You have to specify the name. So I want to use the bug bounty hunter. Right. And I want to put, you know, a simple really request like a scan. And I'm going to give it, you know, simply the app that we all grew up with is the juice shop, the vulnerable web app. All right, so seems fine. Um, all right, so it gives a warning here. Um, here, absolutely, it's specified the LLM managers, which is Gemini 2.5 flash profile. And uh, here, it gives a warning about one of the libraries that it must be changed soon, which is the Google Generative. Uh, AI. It's going to be changed later. But I'm really curious about, you know, the results that it's going to bring on the report. So this is the most important point. So I'm going to go to the report right now. So I'm going to exit this mode. And I'm going to go to reports. And I want to check what it bring for me. All right. So here we have a report. Uh, we have an ID for the report, execution summary. So the input that we put, like a scan this website, you can improve the requests. You can put scan and identify vulnerabilities, uh, classify the vulnerabilities uh, from the most critical one to, to the lowest one. So it depends. So let's check here what it gives. So I don't care about that. So, Epithetical Vulnerability Report, Insecure Direct Object Referees, and authorized access to other users. Okay, this is one of the vulnerabilities. It just give it to us, and then it gives you like the vulnerability description. 
you know? So it really explain here uh, what is the vulnerability. And then it just going to explain for you what is the potential impact. All right. So this is cool. Um, and here it's just going to give you another information, which is the reproduction steps. Uh, all right. And so this is, this is awesome. Okay. This is literally interesting because what it gives you basically, it gives you the vulnerability description. Then it's going to give you the production steps. And then it gives you the exploitation guide. So it gives you a guide to exploit that vulnerability, which is really cool. And it gives it to you as a step, which is really awesome, right? And here, it's going to give you some suggestions to fix uh, this vulnerability. So the severity classification is the critical. All right, so that's totally interesting, you know. But I want to just uh, take a look about the configuration of the agents and the prompts itself. So as you can see here, uh, here you're going to have the agents. And as you can see, like here, each uh, agents have its configuration. Like here you have exploitation agents. Uh, you have a weapon test agents. Um, I want to I wanna go to web and test once and see it's content. So as you can see, this is like the code where it imports its request basically and its configuration. So here you're going to find the agents, but I think like the most important one comes in the prompt. So if I'm going to go with the prompts, here in the prompt, you're going to find what we call MD library. And in the MD library here, you can customize uh, the prompt that you want to give or how the agents want him to work. So for example here, if I'm going to go to the back bounty MD file, uh, you can see here the user prompt as a big bounty hunter analyze the provided target information and reconnaissance data to identify potential. So this is basically um, uh, actually like the, the user prompt, you know, the prompt that it's going to be launched when you're going to use the bug bounty agents, right? And here the system prompt, you're an extra bug bounty hunter with extensive experience in finding critical vulnerabilities. So yeah, I like that point because you can customize how you want the agents work, okay? So, and here absolutely, you can customize your own agent, customize the prompt and make it work the way you want it to work. But that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, you know, this is only a start point when AI integrated more in offensive security, but it exists more interesting tools. And yeah, this is one of the start points. So I recommend to go with it, discover it more and understand how it works. So guys, I'm going to leave you all the links in the descriptions. Hope you enjoyed. Again, don't forget to follow me. Just your sports mean a lot and see you in the next one.